Hey folks, it's T Rex Gaming 407, and um, I'm here with, as promised, DLC season pass news and all the DLC included in WWE 2K17. So let's get straight to the point. It's pretty good this year. New new people that some return or ret some returns to the series and some new to the yearly titles. So I'll start off. We have the Accelerator. Players will gain access to all unlockable content at launch in the game's VC purchasable section. That's excluding downloadable content, of course. Then players can also decide the overall rankings and attribute levels for all playable characters throughout the life of the product. Yeah, I, I do that too. The Accelerator will be available for $4.99 separately or free with the Season Pass. Or suggested price of $4.99. Future Stars Pack. Playable WWE and NXT Superstars. Austin Aries, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, Mojo Riley, and Ty Dillinger. Yeah. And the Future Stars Pack will be available for $8.99 for a suggested price. Oh, folks, I guess this is the only showcase we're going to have. The Hall of Fame Showcase. Playable matches include Cactus Jack and Diamond Dallas Page versus the Fabulous Freebirds, Jimmy Garvin and Michael P.S. Hayes, WCW, Saturday Night, 1992. Then next match is the Fabulous Freebirds, Buddy, Buddy Roberts and Michael P.S. Hayes versus Carrie and Kevin Ron Eric, WCCW, 1986. Next, we've got Ivory vs. Jacqueline, SmackDown 2000. Next, we got Sting with in the gold and black tights vs. Ric Flair, Clash of the Champions 1988. Next is Sting, NWO Wolfpack Ring Gear vs. Bret Hart, WCW, Halloween Havoc 1998. Next is the Papa Shango versus the Godfather Dream Match. Then next we got Big Boss Man with Albert or Prince Albert versus the Big Show Armageddon 1999. And the Hall of Fame of the Hall of Fame Showcase will be available for $9.99. Moving on. Next we got the Legends Pack, which is Playable WWE Legends, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Eddie Guerrero, Greg the Hammer Valentine, Psycho Sid, finally, and Tatanka. <laughs> Excuse me. The Legends pack will be available for $8.99. Also, they got the My Player Kickstart. It's a PS4 and Xbox One exclusive. Players will gain access to unlock and boost created superstars, ratings, and attributes made available at launch as part of the game's My Career mode. Players can also unlock all clothing made available at launch that provides attribute boosts in My Career. And the My Player Kickstart will be available for $9.99. Here we go. New Moves Pack. Explore a wide variety of new in-game moves, including a swing-out netbreaker made popular by current WWE Raw Women's Champion Charlotte, and the El Bro Drop made popular by WWE Superstar Zack Ryder, the Face Wash Combo made popular by NXT Superstar Samoa Joe, and the TJP Clutch made popular by current WWE Cruiserweight Champion TJ Perkins. Too bad he's not in the game because yeah, he just made it to the roster. But anyway, the new moves pack will be available for three ninety nine. NXT enhancement pack, PS four and Xbox One exclusive. Playable NXT superstars Apollo Cruz, Nia Jax, and Shinsuke Nakamura. That'd be good. Also, players will earn a fifty percent boost in points while competing at NXT during my career mode. The NXT Enhancement Pack will be available for $9.99. And so this is for PS3, um, past-gen um, 
last generation systems for people. The NX, it's going to be called the NXT Legacy Pack. It's a PS3 and the Xbox 360 exclusive. Playable NXT superstars Apollo Crews, Nia Jack, and Shinsuke Nakamura. And then they'll be available day one. Excuse me. Ugh, got a cold a little bit. They'll be available for PS3 and 360 right then and there for four. And well, or let me get one. The NXT Legacy Pack will be available for four ninety nine. You can get it. PS3 and Xbox 360 will have it available to buy separately. It's not part of the season pass. So, all right. Moving on. Ah, the last part. The WWE 2K17 Season Pass. Players may purchase select WWE 2K16 download content at a reduced price point through the game's Season Pass. For $29.99, I'll save some more than 15% versus individual content purchases. Players will receive the following items as they become available. The Accelerator. The Future Stars Pack. The Hall of Fame Showcase. The Legends Pack. And New Moves Pack. Will all be in the season pass, of course, as usual. So, and sometimes it might get confusing and say reduced price. It makes you think you still gotta pay, but just because it's gonna be a slighter amount to pay. But I think it's hopefully it's like as it's been for years, just you get those items for free once they come out. The packs come out, you get them for free with the season pass. I think I, I think we do so. I think about it, Ty Dillinger. The Mr. Perfect 10. Yeah, Mojo Rally, which I can create probably the um, Hype Brothers, hopefully. But they ain't, probably ain't got a theme. Well, well, I'll probably use Mojo Rally's theme for the Hype Brothers. And here's a shocker in the Hall of Fame Showcase. You get to get the Fabulous Freebirds, all three of them. You get Ivory and Jacqueline. I think you get Sting. Again, with gold and black ties in a, in a sting with Wolfpack ring gear. You get Papa Shango and the well, they're gonna be available as the other pack. But he has a dream match now, and you get hopefully this big boss man is like the SWAT gear, the one, or it's probably we're probably gonna have two boss mans possibly, and two big shows. Well, we're gonna have two big shows, like two big boss mans. We're gonna have the past one with the cop gear and the one with the SWAT. So, um, that's pretty good to have these characters. And Ric Flair from 1988. Yeah, he's probably got longer hair than Ric Flair. And the Legends pack. I'm, um, I'm excited for Psycho Sid. Cause he, he was in 2K15 as Sid Justice, but he was just only in the storyline as a referee. And Tatanka. Wow. He wasn't in the yearly titles, so, but he was in like, uh, was he in the past game? I don't really know, because I didn't get to play too many of the past games. Uh, look over again, review. The enhancement pack, I can't wait for that to be available eventually, I don't know when. It's gonna, I think it's gonna cost $9.99, which I have enough after I get the season pass, so I'm just gonna straight up buy the season pass, because I always do that every year for wrestling games, and any game I get, I have to get the, I have to get the DLC. I just have to. Excuse me, man, I'm drinking. And, um, some people say, why well, we got DLC? Well, you know, you're right, it is about money. DLC is the future, there's nothing we can do about it. I just, I hated it too. I, you know, I hated it too at first, people, but I had to get used to it, and I said, okay, as, as you know, I just go online and find out what the future DLC is, the prices are, and I'll get them. But I usually get games that have season passes, which is mostly wrestling I get. And, um, this, and, no, this is good news. I know other people already uploaded theirs. So, um, you can let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you if you like to, or just watch the video just to give me some views, because I mostly focus on views. And if, if, I wish you would subscribe to me, but that's up to you, up to you, if you what you think of my channel. But, uh, hit that like. Um, I guess you can add it to your favorites if you want, if it's, if this video is good enough. And, um, I wish I'll be doing some gameplay when it comes out of 2K17. 
I don't know if it's going to be exact day. It might be later in the day because I know I get it at midnight. That's why I got to do my whole settings in, this, in the game, get everything up to par. So I will see you folks um, next time for if anything comes to my ideas for a new video, I will do it. I might be live streaming tonight with WWE 2K16, so um, you should be on the lookout for that if you want. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.